Uh, it'll be an interesting heat. said Mark McCarthy, uh, season competitor. You know, he's currently in the top four in the World Tour at the moment. He's still very much a contender for the World Title. And a strong result here could, you know, really change the standings. And uh, let's see what he can do. But, you know, he's a very talented rider and you know, a real competitor. So the other guys have got their work cut out for them. So Ryan Hardy in that last heat only had two waves, one of which was at 1.0. So anything... Oh, Anything is possible out here if you can get two decent scoring waves. I mean, a 9.0 and a 1.1, 1. that 1.1 1. 1 can easily have been uh, brought up higher, but it didn't happen. Left the door open for the other guy, so it's not over till it's over. He actually did sneak a late one in, Manny, and I think he got a 4.5 uh, or something for that. So he had a combined score of 13, but you're right. He, he, he had that one major scoring wave, and his second wave was just... Uh, a, a mid-range score, but it was enough. I think the combined score of 13.25 was uh, what he secured, and that was enough, deservedly so, because he, you know, that that nine-point ride was something we'll see on the highlight reels, and uh, uh, you know, it's just, you know, we we might say he got lucky, but Hardy, wherever he travels around the world, he finds the barrels, he keeps doing it. So, you know, we can't call it luck. He, he's uh, he just he's got the nose for it. Yeah, no, he's good. Uh, him. Uh, Ryan Hardy and Ben Player, two of the, my favorite barrel riding extraordinaire bodyboarders in the world. And, you know, throw in uh, Ben Severson and Mike Stewart, and then we got a full pot of barrel masters. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, Ben Severson is not on the world tour, but we do see Mike Stewart, um, you know, throw his hat into the ring. But ben, it's great to see Ben Severson, a legend of the sport, still involved actively. He uh, yes. is the event local event promoter for the pipe contest now in Hawaii. So you know, we've actually been speaking with, with Ben over the last couple of weeks, you know, pinning down the details for the pipe for 2012. It you know, feels like a long time away, but it's actually not. It's only February. But here we go. Up in the blue, we have the local man. Woo! I think this is Jerome. <laughs> and look, he's found the inside nice. section very well. And that's Jerome. And he's, oh, he's just he, be careful of that reef exactly. there. Exactly. Don't want to see any more injuries. But... Uh, look, very nice wave, using his local knowledge, and uh, did very well. But in the white, we have Gastel, uh, pops in and out of that one, and unfortunately, not not a lot on offer. But uh, look, Gastel, is a huge talent from Portugal, and uh, I really like to see him do well here because uh, I said he's he's had a mixed year, uh, but still very much in contention. But if you sit here, you'll, you'll see the local local boy Jerome pull under the curtain, nice barrel, and he just keeps fighting all the way through using the local knowledge all the way to the end. That's a, a, I think that'll be a high-scoring wave, Manny. Well, I mean, he's, he's, you can tell this is his backyard. He, um, he, knew, he knew exactly where to maneuver, where to be in that pocket, and uh, got a nice little cover-up. Nice solid wave right there for Jerome. Jerome. So uh, still waiting for the scores to drop on that one, but uh, it looked definitely the highest-scoring wave of the heat thus far, uh, I would guess. But uh, look, a big day. Actually, as I said, we're into... Heat three of round two at the moment. We have Mark McCarthy from South Africa in the red, Gastel in Trudeau from Portugal in the white. We have the two local boys in yellow, Matthew Vistu. And in the blue, we have Jerome Boulanier. And uh, look, it's going to be interesting, but look, we have still another five heats to go up this one for today's competition. And some big heats coming up. We've got Jeff Hubbard taking on. Magno Oliverio, Sergio Alonso, and Johan Florentine. That'll be an exciting heat, Betty. That's going to be one. a good one. And then uh, you look down, and they just keep coming. But look, let's have a look. In the yellow, we have the local. He has a look, but unfortunately, not a lot on offer for Mathieu. Visto. Visto. Yeah, I talked to uh, Matthew right before his heat. I actually had the opportunity to meet his, uh, his mom and dad and uh, his girlfriend, actually. And I had to trans, or the, the mom had to translate. He was wearing these uh, black taped bands on his shoulders going up into his neck. And I asked him what they were. Uh, and mom translated saying, yeah, he has a stiff, stiff neck. And I guess this is some type of, I want to say an icy hot where it gets ice and cold. And uh, I think he, it's just, he's, th he's out there right now wearing that. So he's doing everything to be in top top form. Yeah, you're starting to see a lot of that uh, in sports around the world. It's that black tape. Uh, yes. And you see a lot of the athletes in various sports wearing that, and um, it obviously finds itself in the sport of bodyboarding as well. But uh, as you said, problems with his neck, and uh, he, uh, you know, but 
you know, this is his home event. He wants to he, he wants to compete, and he needs to do whatever it takes to to get out there. And now there's plenty of stories that are starting to develop about the sacrifices people are making and the the you know the injuries they push through just to get out there. We've spoke about Alex Yoranga. Uh, you know, there's Jeff Danui as well with his knee, and it's just the stories just keep coming. But here we have it. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice no extended sign. roll that's, right that's there our man from there. Yeah. Matthew Visto with a big roll on the outside. So Matthew putting together something in the middle of the heat. And if you can't hear it, the crowd on Whoa. the beach is cheering and clapping. Look at right, this out McCarthy. the back. Does he get out of there? Nice barrel. He pulls under it, but unfortunately caught up in the wash. We heard the crowd cheering, Manny, and that was for the local boy uh, getting the nice one. But here's another local boy. We've got Jerome. Pulling into this, Look another skills barrel. right there. Whoa. Beautiful. Again, just local knowledge, Manny. And you'll ride that all the way through. That's a very well-ridden wave, and I think the judges will reward that with a, with a nice, healthy score. So uh, I wouldn't want to be in that heat. These guys are catching waves back to back, and uh, yeah, it doesn't well, seem like anybody one. else is out there. No, well, they're probably getting cleaned up as we speak. But let's have a replay of this one, Manny. Uh, this is a big roll from the local boy Matthew. And uh, look, he bounces off that, and then I think he pops a nice little spin in at the end as well. So, uh, look, good scoring wave. Uh, and let's see what the judges have to say about that. And then uh, working through the replay now. And then straight after again, this is a, a Jerome pulling under, the, using his leg. This is the second barrel, man, he's got in this heat. This, again, this knows this reef off the back of his hand. And, and nice cover up, covers it through, and then he pushes all the way through. And there's a nice roll off the end, I, if I remember correctly. And look, that's going to be another good score for the local boys. And Mark McCarthy and Gastow and Trudeau have their work cut out for them. Yeah, they've got to fight an uphill battle now with a uh, uh, little bit of time. I mean, we're at the halfway point of the heat, so waves are still going in. Unfortunately, they're not catching them. It's the two local boys that are running circles around these two guys right now. But there is plenty of time to go in this heat. So Mark McCarthy and Gastow and Trudeau, Probably just waiting patiently, waiting for some good, solid, good-sized waves. But uh, it is the local guys who are catching these medium-sized inside waves to get something under their belt, and they're doing a good job of that. Yep. Okay, well, well, we've got a little bit of a lull in the action, Manny. Just to shout out to the, uh, the fans out there that the IBA online shop has been launched. So you can buy IBA merchandise starting at this event with official IBA hats and shirts that we're both wearing ourselves today, Manny. And we've got the special promotion that if you jump online and and purchase a shirt, oh, we'll hold on. We've got Matthew again dominating here with a nice wave. What's he got? And a bang, nice roll. The local boy is really putting it on a show. And let's have a look. No, nothing else. Um, but then on the white, Gastel has to kick out. We'll get back to the online shop shortly, Manny, All and right. the promotion. But it sounds like we've got Shaggy uh, with the last heat winner, Ryan Hardy. What have you got to say, Shaggy? Thanks, Manny. I'm down here with Ryan Hardy, winner of the last heat. Ryan, congratulations. What an amazing barrel you got there. Hey, nine-point ride. Yeah, thanks, Shag. Yeah, it was a real... It was a lucky snag out there. There's not many good barrels. It's so windy. Mostly looking for a couple of ramps to hit, and I just got super lucky. It went really clean and sucked out off the reef. I'll take it. Yeah. Nice. You can uh, relax for the rest of the day. You're done surfing. A bit of hot tub time, and maybe I'll beat you in tennis later today, hey? Could happen, yeah. No, I'm loving it. The last couple of contests, I've been in the pressure cooker after the first day, after the first two rounds. Really needing a strong result in the last one. So this one, it's, um, you know, I, sh I have a pretty good chance already now just to, to get through to the man-on-man -man round, so I'm straight in the hot tub and have a beer later on. You want to say hello to the wife and son? For sure, yeah. If Lee and Ollie are watching home, miss you guys so much. And hello to uh, my family if they're watching too. You. Thanks, Ryan. Back to you, Manny. All right, another beautiful interview from the Shaggy, the Shagmeister. Shaggy, always uh, getting the, the right questions in, making sure they give a shout-out to their uh, people, support fans who are watching. So that last wave from Mark McCarthy, a little frustration. Yeah, look, he, it looked like it had some potential. It just didn't work out for him, and you could see the frustration. He he skipped out of it and threw his board in frustration, and so it's still another 12 minutes to go, but at the moment, Mark McCarthy's got a combined score of 2.5, so a lot of work ahead of him. He, he needs... 7.25 to progress into first uh, to second, sorry, and an 8.85. But it looks like the next heat is going to be.
going to be exciting, Manny. Yes, and there's the man himself in the red jersey from the island of Kauai, from the Hawaiian island chain. That is Jeff Hubbard. He is currently leading the charge in the IBA 2011 rankings right now. And uh, he's, you know, he's still in the reaching distance for the second and third place riders who are in the title race as well. So he's got to battle it out for the guys in the next heat. But first, Jerome sliding onto this one. Yeah, look, he knows how to find a barrel, this oh guy. Oh, ho, ho. And he's proven he's not just a barrel rider. He's popped a big... Uh, air spin there but unfortunately just gets caught up in the bubble but yeah sh really putting on a show here and here we have in the white Gastel and Trudeau the Portuguese what do we got Manny? Gastel nice cylindrical roll on the inside and he's not done yet and another one forcing that one on the inside but you know what he needed something to build on that 1.25 his highest scoring wave so far and that will do it yeah look Gastel still needs a 7.25 to get into second so but this is this is Jerome's first wave of that exchange and again he's just picking off the right waves man using the local knowledge gets right up there and throws the air spin and unfortunately just gets caught up he sort of came out of it but just couldn't pull in front of the whitewash manny yeah it looked like he was actually going to pull it off and in my eyes he i thought he was going to go straight just for a simple inverted air but he actually tweaked it and turned it into a nice forming reverse 360 so a nice wave right there unfortunately machu could not pull it off. So um, he's going back out there, trying to get out there before Mark McCarthy in the red jersey. So the priority system in full effect. Yeah, a little, bit of, these a, guys? little bit of a uh, paddle battle going on there. They're all apparent. That's the uh, footage from Seamus out on the jet ski. And uh, you can see there's some sets rolling in. The boys doing their work best to get out there. Um, and But at the moment, there's no one in position for these sets as they come through. And the boys are just lucky to get underneath them. Look at that right coming in right there. Nobody on it. So, ooh, hoo, hoo, that oh. section would have been insane. Mark but McCarthy loves the right-hand section. I would have loved to see him flip out of that one. Unfortunately, not in the right spot. But I'm sure he saw it come through. And he'd be trying to position himself for the next opportunity. I don't know how they're going to mark this priority right now. Because Mark McCarthy is uh, finally getting on the outside right behind everybody else. So, we're going to see where it uh where it stands right now but currently here are your standings when in the local boys one and two in the, in the lead matteo vista in the yellow with a 10.1 in second place jerome boulinaire sitting in second with a combined score of 8.5 jerome needs a 5.11 to progress into first position the south african mark mccarthy currently sitting in third place uh, with a combined score of 7.25. There's Shaggy dancing his way across the uh, riders' area. Uh, but yeah, so Mark McCarthy needs a 2.5 to jump into second and a 5.35 score for Gastel. Sees him needing a 4.41 to, uh, to, to progress. So uh, look, it's, a, it's still very heat, very close heat. Nine minutes to go. Anything can happen, but uh, uh, you know, we've got our work cut out. The riders got their work cut out for them, waiting for the next waves. And look, having a look at this Live one action, in the here yellow. we go. Matthew Visto in the yellow jersey dropping in, coming around this section on the outside. What's going to shape up for him? Carbs back into the power zone right there. Going for that inside section, but I think that might be the end of that wave. Matthew Visto in the yellow jersey. Okay, well Not much there for him, so there you go. And uh, paddling back out right after that wave, Matthew Visto. Actually, uh, no, that's the next heat, Sergio Alonso. Uh, the smiling assassin. Yes, he's uh, getting ready, getting out there for the next heat coming up. So I got some very important, very critical news coming to us from Puerto Escondido, Mexico. Our boy Edwin Morales has just informed us that there is a DOCK project going down that will probably destroy one of the best bodyboarding waves in that area, Punta Colorada. So if this is true, Punta Colorada will be destroyed if this dock project goes through. So if you want more info, we will have more info on IBAWorldTour.com within the next couple days. So, whoo, Edwin Morales, let's please hope this is not true. Punta Colorada is absolutely a beautiful, perfect bodyboarding wave. So look at this out the back, live action coming to you from Reunion Island. And that is in white, Gastel and Trudeau from Portugal. So Gastel finally stepping on the gas. 
seven minutes remaining in this heat. Woo! Again, more info on the dock project from Mexico. Sasha from North Beach tuning in as well, giving a shout out to the, the Brews, the South African. So uh, big love to Papa and the boys. And Lela, Lela, of course. Look at this right hander speaking of the devil. Mark McCarthy, the South African. Nice invert. Oh, I thought he was going nose first into the reef, but it is Mark McCarthy pulling it off. Nice inverted aerial maneuver. So um, tuning in right now. After this, let's take another look at this wave right here. It is Mark McCarthy timing perfect for it. Little late, but still gets inverted nonetheless. Lands, I thought he went down but he actually pulls it off, and there you have it. So tuning in right now, getting squared away, is uh, fellow Australian. Well, I'm not an Australian, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're my fellow. <laughs> All right, here's my fellow. My it is uh, Dallas Singer. So Dallas Singer, how is it going for you in the event as far as mentally is the mental part of it? Oh, the mental going part. Down? I don't want to talk about the mental part. It's always, <laughs> <laughs> it's always such a head spin, but. Um, there you go. Is this Gaston? Yeah. No, no, no. Matthew Visto, oh, the Matthew. local kid. So this kid right here, Matthew Visto, has been leading the charge from the beginning mm -hmm. of this heat, and uh, he's building on a 4.15, his lowest scoring of his top two waves. Uh, Mark McCarthy knocked him out of that first place spot yep. with that last wave of a 7.15. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Matthew Visto and Jerome Boula Noir are uh, the two local guys in this heat going against Gaston through the and, and Mark well. McCarthy. Yeah, you, know, you can tell how like, in tune they are with the waves here as well, like, you know, temperature and everything like that. But, um, yeah, they all surf really good. So it's good to see these guys, you know, in the main event, really mixing it up with guys like Mark and, and Gaston. But, you know, Mark's, Mark's a little sneaky right there. <laughs> Actually, scored really well. So you're going to be happy about that for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Dallas, thanks for uh, coming in. Back to the mental part of this uh event yep you're down there with the fellow competitors your fellow competitors so what what's the vibe like out in the competition um, area the vibe uh, it's, it's you know you're just doing your own thing at the moment it's getting really hot so you're just trying to get as much shade as you can especially on these days where they ran you know they run two two rounds in a day it can be like you know almost six hours of just waiting around sort of thing so you really just want to you know just chill those guys are in the shade you see sam and that just kicking back um so what do they got in their hands jake stone 2011 i don't know what that is uh, but oh, yeah. mommy's resume. Oh, sweet. Yeah. How would you like wow, to have a that. resume with that wave is uh, your opening page? Yeah, that's he's loving it, definitely and he's a banger. making sure you love it. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it. <laughs> yeah, no, like, you know, you just got to hang around and, you know, not get too amps and just wait around for your heat. Try and keep out of the sun, really. It's, um, it's always a mental thing. You always want to get out there and you're really anxious and stuff like that, so... You know, on these two days. Oh, look at this. The Portuguese, Gaston Trudeau, dropping in on this one. Talk us through it. Um, it's looking pretty clean now. He could pull in this little pit. The wind's actually working in its favour sometimes. It flares it up and you can kind of punch through. Gaston didn't manage to get through that, unfortunately. But, you know, it's um, it's it's getting better, in my opinion. There's some rogies before and uh, uh, now it's just kind of, it seems like it's just controlled itself a bit more, even though the wind's really strong. Um, the tide's getting lower, it's getting a bit more hollower and you see a bit more like aerial moves and stuff like that. So you see guys, you know, managing the wave a lot better. Uh, when it was a bit bigger this morning, it was just, you know, you're taking off and you're kind of taking what you can get, not looking down the line for something, if you know what I mean. So now it's, you know, it's a bit more controlled. You can see what you're doing a bit more and um, yeah, it should be some sick surf in this second round for sure. All right, you're coming in, uh, you're coming up in the last heat of the day of round number two against uh, Dave Winchester, Dave Hubbard, and Elliot Morales. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even look at that. Thanks for that. <laughs> Sorry, that's a stacked heat that you're going to have to uh, deal with. That's but all right. So I'm not going to talk to you about your heat because that's going to be coming up. <laughs> no, right? no, talk to me about it. It's, um, okay, it's so not taboo, you know, like you got to kind of handle what you're getting given and every heat is packed. So, you know, you're not getting a raw deal anywhere. So. Yep. You know, as soon as you look at the draw, you're sort of like, yeah, that's the same old story. <laughs> you but know, you're going to cop someone that's, you know, really tough in your heat, and you just got to concentrate on your own game, really, Okay. and stuff so like that. So in the leaderboard rounds, you're going against um, nine different competitors, uh, three different competitors in each one of those three rounds. Yep. Is there any one competitor that, uh, you know, really gets you nervous me? and gets you, uh, you know, thinking? Yeah, well, I mean, someone asked me that, you know, a few weeks ago, and I didn't know how to answer it because as soon as you – 
as soon as you open up about someone that's really tough to beat, you yeah. feel like you've just given in. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But there's a bunch of guys, you know, we're on the um, Aussie Tour as well, and there's a lot of, like, top Australian riders that are, um, you know, always got to irk you in heats, yeah. but <laughs> got to get your head around it. But um, is that heat finish now? Yeah, Mark came out first there, and the local boy um, in yellow. How do you pronounce his name, Manny? Machu Visto. Machu Visto. <laughs> Yeah, he come in second. Uh, uh, the other Frenchman in third, and Gastel unfortunately coming in fourth. There, he's got some work to do tomorrow. I guess we're going to run the next round tomorrow. Do you know the call? What's that? Do you know the call for tomorrow? Is it going to run or? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, everybody, including yourself, should check in with ibaworldtour.com, <laughs> or uh, we'll make sure that we get uh, we get that out okay. on not only ibaworldtour.com but on our face. After that first again and fourth, I know I need to get a first or a second to at least still be alive um, to make it on to the next round. So I'm, it's not the game, it's, the stress is far from not over, but I know at least I need a, a first and a, or a second tomorrow. You um, did a great invert on that right. Uh, do you want to talk us through that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had my first three waves all bunkers and I was able to get a little barrel on the left and then on the right, I found a little right with like three, four minutes left. So I, I know if I didn't land the move, that it, um, I would have definitely come third or fourth, so I just had to bank on that right and it just popped up for me. I was, I'm very lucky. There's not many rights out there, and um, there are a few, but it's a long wait, so I was just very lucky there was one for me. <laughs> it looks uh, pretty shallow on the inside there. How shallow was it? Oh, it's very shallow. When I pulled out after my invert, I was pretty much ankle deep, and sea urchins everywhere. <laughs> oh, not nice, not nice. Well, um, congratulations. You can go relax now and um, see you tomorrow for round three. Thanks, Shaggy.